areas of focus for this presentation will be the big three, which are fuel. So the, the energy, the um, fuel that you're putting into your body in terms of uh, hydration, nutrition, and um, your sleep. It's all about enhancing your energy, your preparation. So the training that you're doing and the focus of that current training program and what, from an athlete's perspective, what your focus should be for each session. And probably the most important out of the three at this stage of the year is the mindset. So how are you in a calm but confident mindset to make sure that you can give the upcoming game everything that you've got uh, and you're in a really good space mentally to ensure that you're embracing mistakes and you're moving on to the next contest and you're really in the present to be able to maximize your performance. Breaking down these areas, so from the physical point of view, um, working on your mobility throughout the week can help you feel good and, and help with restoring range after a game. So that can be a key focus uh, for something that does drift away typically in a football uh, routine. So whether you're doing your own mobility, like using hurdles, like in the photo here, or maybe you're booking a yoga class or a Pilates class or anything that is allowing you to move through full ranges of motion is a great thing for the body. And it's going to give you more options on the training field because the football is a 360 degree. You need to be able to move through all different planes, rotate, um, pick things up from the ground and, um, and change your, your rotating through your shoulders, your hips. Um, so being mobile is really, really important for having um, good movement on game day. So that can be a key focus. From your fuel perspective, this image here of having your, your different grades of nutrition. Um, so like with the unleaded, we've got our down from our regular all the way through to our premium. And, and that's what we want to be thinking about as an athlete. How, come, how am I putting in premium, high quality fuel into my body? Okay, so pick, pick the best options that you have access to. For some, that's going to be going to your local market rather than a, a supermarket. For some, that might be that in your journey with nutrition, you've been eating a lot of processed foods. And for now, we just want to go to eating real food. So the source of the food doesn't matter too much. Um, you're going to a supermarket, uh, but you've, you've shifted from eating things that are packaged, frozen to real foods, you know, fruit and vegetables and, and animal products. Uh, for those that have already been doing that for a while, how can you upgrade your quality of your food? How can you go more premium? So maybe a local farmer's market, perhaps a, uh, or going to organic or biodynamic produce. And then mindset with our last one of the big three is everything. So making sure that you going into a game, you feel calm and confident to be your best. Whatever allows you to get into that mindset is what works for you. So for some, there'll be some outlets that are really important, playing golf, going for a surf, catching up with some other mates that aren't football mates. Whatever it is from a mental point of view, those outlets are critical for your energy making sure that you're really with that main training session of the week that you bring above match intensity. So you feel confident that you can go at that intensity for the upcoming game. And there's a transference effect that that has early in the week, really work on those one percenters, the process of recovery, ensure that you're ticking off all those boxes that you know, mentally allow you to recharge um, and move on from that game that's happened. Maybe you had a really hard loss. We want to reflect work on the areas that we need to get better at and then move on to the net, to the upcoming game. Key takeaways from this presentation about our Get Better plan is be curious, ask lots of questions, particularly those in our academy membership. You should be making the most of the discussion forum, sending your questions that way and jump on the podcast episodes. As you know, all academy members can be a guest on our podcast and ask the guests questions. Experiment, try things out, um, particularly early in the year. This is not the year to be changing things too much at the pointy end of the season, but throughout the particularly practice matches, off-season and pre-season, for those that are not playing finals, is the best time to experiment and try different things. And when you do try different things, make sure you've got enough of a sample size. Don't just try it once, reflect, oh, that didn't work for me, and then, and then trash it. Make sure you have enough sample size. You've tried it for consistently each week for a month, and if it's not working for you, trust your gut can that exercise and go for something different.